If you don't like, if you don't like me, leave. Ah, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> because uh, no, too much energy. Let's go. Another main event for you, man. It's about all you seem to do the last five or six years. Oh yeah, and I'm glad about that. You know, it's good, good to be fighting five rounds. I think it's different. It separates, you know, who really wants this thing, you know, for the other guy. So <laughs> I'm happy to be here. How are you doing uh, health-wise after the, the leg infection and all that? Everything well, yeah. tip-top right now? As you can, guys can yeah. see, I'm feeling good. That was uh, much worse than I thought. But God willing, you know, I'm here for you guys again. And uh, it's in the past. I know last time out in, uh, in Minnesota, things didn't go the way you wanted them to go with, with Francis. But... What did you take out of that situation, out of that outcome, and you know, to kind of put something together moving forward? Yeah, man. Sometimes uh, you know, it's not your day. You know, things doesn't happen the way you want. But what? You know, you're gonna cry for that? Come on, keep moving forward. That's what I'm doing. You know, I believe in me. If you guys can see the truth, I can see in my head. No, no, you guys would be amazed. And that's what I'm trying to show you guys. You know, that's why I'm here. I really believe I deserve to the top of this division as a champion. And I'll get there, you know. I, I got there once. I'll get there again, you know, because I know everybody say it's, uh, it's something that when, when somebody do, does do something, something wrong, they say that. But in my case, it's truth. You know, everything what you hear from me is truth. And I am of truth. I am made of truth, you know. And that's why I'm here. I know how to do it again, and I'll do it how many times it's necessary to do. It seems like the UFC kind of believes in you at this point as well because I don't think they would have put you in with, with Curtis if they didn't. Do you feel like that's the case? And, and is that what was going through your head? Oh, yeah, of course. I was coming from two, three great victories, you know, and close to fight for the title again. Then I got someone who's coming from, you know, a good moment too and with a lot of power. You know, Francis Ngannou has a lot of power. He got the victory that night. It doesn't mean that he's best, uh, he better than me. He was better than me that night. But uh, I'm here to have that rematch and prove that I am better, better than him. But I, I really appreciate everything what uh, UFC is doing for me, you know. And for, for them to, to put so much, uh, like, confidence on me, you know. They really trust in me, you know, to, to, to do my work, to do what I do best, you know, which is fighting. So I really appreciate that and I'll keep doing my best. Yeah, that's what the UFC likes likes to do with me too. You know, they like to send me uh, for places that I need to introduce MMA. You know, for that city. You know, so for the first time. So I, I've been having good times here in, in Rally. You know, it's cold. My gosh, very cold. <laughs> my God, I was in Florida, man. That was fine there over there. <laughs> but when I got here, my gosh. But I, I'm fine, you know. Right now I'm feeling good. Here in the inside the arena, it's you know warm and nice. So <laughs> that's what I need to go there and put in a good performance against uh, Curtis Blades. What do you make of the of the division right now with the, with the situation with with uh, Stipe and DC? I mean, do you have a preferred outcome when those two finally get back together again? Is there a, a preferred winner for you in terms of being able to get closer to a title shot? Man, they, uh, they uh, not, not really, you know, I don't really care about uh, my opponents. As soon as they offer me the opponent, the, uh, the opponent, my answer is yes, all the time. You know, so uh, uh, I think they both are, you know, phenomenal fighters. Um, but I don't think uh, they should do this fight now. You know, I think they, they should fight again. So then they could uh, have this thir or thir third fight against them, you know. Because it doesn't really make sense, but uh, you know, it's it's on the UFC. Whatever they say, you know, we have to follow. But I don't think it's right. You know, I, sh I think they should do one more fight, then fight again. If they keep the position that they are in right now, you know, they they would fight again. But uh, no doubt, you know, both of them are great fighters. Fighters, like I said, and I'm looking forward to to face any one of them. Whoever has the the gold, I want the gold. Don't you? I want the gold, man. <laughs> Do you believe the gold is next for you? With the, with the, with depends the of the results. Uh, depends of the results. The, the, the title can be the next for him, for me, if Ngannou loses to Jarzinho or something like that, you know? Then I could fight for the title or even have the rematch with, with Ngannou. Would I, what, uh, I would appreciate 
very much. And, but uh, I don't really know what to, what's going to happen. You know, right now the focus is on Curtis Blades. Blades. He's a great fighter, you know, and I'm glad to be facing someone like him. It's a uh, fighting of uh, styles, different styles, right? He likes to grapple. I like to stand up and bang. It's going to be interesting for you guys. With Stipe possibly being a little longer than originally expected, uh, what happens with the title there? Do you just wait and you guys keep fighting amongst yourselves until it comes about? Or would you like to see an interim belt or whatever that is? Well, if it takes more than one year, then it's right to have the interim, interim belt. I know it's, he, he was going through a very serious problem, uh, surgery or something like that, you know. So I, I wish him the best recovery, you know. And uh, well, but we have to keep the, the, the vision, go, you know, have, uh, things going on in this uh, division. You know, we have so many great talents uh, and uh, yeah, we cannot stop this, the, this, this whole thing, you know, waiting. Uh, but of course, he's the champion he deserved. His last fight against a Cormier man that was amazing, well deserved, the, uh, deserved the, the victory. So let's see what's going to happen next. Hey, thanks, guys. Hey, can, I, can, you, can you squeeze one more in there? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You sang for us in Minneapolis. You sang Purple Rain for us. <laughs> because we're in Minneapolis. Oh my Princess gosh, Hungary. man. Can, can we make you reprise that? Or do you have, can you pick out like. North Carolina singer to do something? Not really, you know, week? not really. I was, uh, but I really like Purple Rain. Let's see. Uh, <laughs> oh my gosh, man. I even it's uh, got nervous now. But uh, I never meant to cause you any sorrow. I never meant to cause you any pain. I only want one time to see you laughing. I only want to see you laughing in the purple rain, purple rain, purple rain. Yeah! I love that song, bro. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thank you.